give it a sub, but... Fly <laughs> Man, this is a rocket! Wild! R32 GTR. How do you like to drive your car? Hard. Hard? Yeah. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel guys, my name is Clay Wong and today we are showcasing a one-of-a-kind JDM legend. Take a look at this. This right here is a 1990 Nissan Skyline R32 GDR and as you can probably tell it's not sock, it's midnight purple, it's got a fully built RB26 with a single turbo, it makes 850 rear wheel horsepower. Take a look at it, it's absolutely beautiful and it's still got the factory five-speed manual that you know and love this thing is a true showcase of Godzilla and I can't wait to experience it out here today this is going to be mental we're out here with the owner and the man himself Ali good to meet you my man How are you, bro? good brother can you tell us a little bit about your pride and joy over here so I imported it from Japan when I was 21 21 look like a piece of shit when I got here <laughs> really? clear coat peeling so Started tearing it down. Awesome. And now it looks like this. 16 years later. 16 years later. What a story, man. So currently as it sits, is this the final form for the car? Final form for now. I'm not quite happy with it. Oh, you're not quite happy with it. <laughs> but as it sits right now, this thing is next level, man. Yeah. Should we have a look at the RB then? Yeah. Absolutely crazy. The whole thing is painted in purple. Love it, guys. So I can see it says that CPG built it. Yep, CPG built it. Awesome. And you've got a massive turbo here. Ah, uh, so that's uh, it was a GTX 3582R. Okay. Dimmy from CPG built it. Got it rebuilt for me. Actually surprised me with it. Rebuilt oh. it to a G35 1050. Insane. So this is internally a G35 1050. That's right. Oh wow, it's a bit of a sleeper using the original GT35, hey? So, yeah. And it's making now six... 625 kilowatts. At the wheels, guys. And you've got dyno sheets to prove that, I do that, have yeah. dyno sheets. It just shows you that you can build something like that with the original housing. That's really, really neat. I like yeah. that. So this has been fully built, forged. Everything that you can do to an RB26 has yeah. been wow. So you've got big cams on it as well? Or? No, these are running, it's running the factory cams. Running the factory cams. They insane. did well for us, so we kept with them. 100%. And so with this power level, how much PSI are you pushing out of that turbo? 39 pounds. That's a lot. It is a lot. That's insane. So normally, most people that I showcase, their engines start to let go before the turbo reaches the limit. But yours is kind of the other way. And you still got the factory fire speed, which is insane. Yep. So this is probably as crazy as you can get in its stock trim. Hey. That's right. Yeah, you don't want to go too much more. Wow. So I can't wait to see how it is guys. But the last time we did a video, it was a 700 horsepower R34 GR, which was crazy. Shout out to Fat. But this thing is 200 horsepower more basically, and it's 200 kilos lighter. That's pretty deadly. It's, it's a fun car. Yeah, I, I think it's pretty scary though. <laughs> awesome, man. Let's have a look around this thing because this thing is to die for. So you don't normally see an R32 GDR, let alone one done up like this. So. Fully done up in midnight purple. Midnight purple, LP2, the factory R33 color. The best color, really. It really looks so tough. And I can see you've got some carbon fiber panels here. I'm a little bit of a carbon whore. I like my carbon. <laughs> I love that carbon fiber. So you've got what lip is this? It's tough. Man. It's a June carbon lip. You've got N1 ducts. N1 ducts, N1 lip, carbon yeah. grill. And you've got the the NACA duct there. Yeah. Really tasty, man. It just has so much street presence and you can just tell this is Godzilla. I mean, it's the OG Godzilla, right? That's right. That's right. And you've got some three-piece Workmeisters here. Yeah, 18 by 10 all around. The you know, 07 RSs. Perfect. Do they get traction in this car? Once they're warm, they're a good tire. Can't okay. complain. Fingers crossed it gets warm today. <laughs> <laughs> Have a look at the back end here. Honestly, one of my favorite rear ends. This R32 GDR rear is to die for. And you've got the N1 lip in carbon. Yeah. The carbon exhaust shroud. Looks good, man. Thanks, bro. Looks tough. Not over the top, but just, just tasteful, man. Still running the standard diff and everything as well. Standard front and rear diff. Standard oh, wow. 
pretty much that factory drive line on this. Wow, it just shows that it's really capable out of this the gates. And the interior, all right guys, this is tasty. So that's a really nice wheel. It's a renowned wheel from the USA. Yeah. I was. I really like the way it looks. So. And you've got a... Power tune dash. Power tune dash. Enough chat, I think we should go for a send. Let's do it, man. Let's, Let's go. go. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm pretty anxious. Pretty nervous. How are you feeling? I'm a little bit nervous. <laughs> <laughs> one like is one prayer. <laughs> awesome. We're gonna head down to Mexico. Get more revs or? No, it's, it's pretty easy to drive. That's really easy. Yeah. Wow. That's awesome. What kind of clutch do you have in here? It's a Nismo twin plate okay. copper mix. Oh yeah, guys, this car cruises like a dream. I can see what you mean now. This is. A really nice, well put together car as it stands. So when does the boost typically start building? Uh, probably three and a half, four grand. Three and a half, four grand. We'll give it a little toe poke. We're in third gear. Three thousand. Wow, it sounds sick. It likes a bit of revs, doesn't it? It does. Alright, we're give it a stab. Give it a bit of a stab, yeah. Flat. Flat? <laughs> oh man, this is a rocket! <laughs> it's not every day that you drive an all-wheel car, all-wheel drive car, I'm losing it already. But when you hop in it, you really have to prepare for warp speed. Yeah. You know, I'm kind of scared this thing's gonna step out, but so far it's it's pretty straight. It handles pretty good. It handles so well. What coils have you got? Sorry? What coilovers have you got? Bilstein coilovers. Bilstein. Yeah, Nothing special. Amazing. Really good, man. Oh man, this is sick. This is freaking sick. It's surprising because you see the numbers and it just goes... <laughs> this new turbocharger set up in here, honestly, must be game changing. It's so responsive. When you're on power, it's just a freight train. It keeps pulling. It, it pulls all the way to the red line. To red line. Have you ever hit red line in this? Yeah. <laughs> I like how you said that so casually. We're out here in the woods of Mexico. You know, we've got some corners. It's not just a straight line car. It's with all GTRs. It's designed for handling, right? That's right. Honestly, it feels so good to drive. This is mega, you can heel and toe. I really like the fire speed in here. I know you were saying sequential, but it just makes it very drivable. Is this your first gearbox as well? It is, oh, still man. going strong. This is beautiful to drive. Thanks man. I've driven a lot of fast cars and this is honestly very forgiving. It's very That's simple it. to just jump in. You could give the cars to a kid and he'd probably learn how to drive very quickly. Your mum could take her shopping. Yeah. Do you want to see if uh, my mum can drive? No, okay. <laughs> we'll do a U turn. Yeah. I'm kind of overcompensating for the clutch. I'm yeah. just fearful that it's going to stall, but no, this is very easy to drive. Right. I'm just in shock at how easy this car is to drive, honestly. What's your favourite part about driving the GDR? Probably the way. The way, yeah, it makes you feel, the way it, it, it sticks to the road. Honestly, it's literally on rails. There's a reason why so many people love the 32. This is the OG Godzilla and personally, I think it's my pick of all the GDRs because, you know, it's a car that's not just straight line speed, it's light, it handles. This is what the GTL was intended to be when Nissan built it back in 1989, hey? That's right. It's got that raw power. It really does. Oh man, this is scary fast. I'm basically touching 5,000 RPM and I'm backing off in third just because I feel that this car could keep going to what? 300 kilometers per hour? I haven't had it that fast. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> I really think you need to take this to the drag strip, man. This thing will be a weapon. 
Has it been reliable for you as well? I haven't had any issues with it. The boys at CPG built they built the killer car. They killed it's it. It's a bit of a monster and uh, I would love for you to show us how it's done in your insane GTR, man. This yeah. thing is freaking awesome. What a car. Thanks, man. That was a little showcase of Harley's wild R32 GTR. Truly a weapon. I can't wait to see how he drives it. Let's go, guys. What's the man? How do you like to drive your car? Hard. Hard? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's friggin' sick, bro! <laughs> You're a machine, bro. Yeah, but you don't feel unsafe. No, you don't. It's on rails. Every step of the way. <laughs> That's friggin' insane. It just keeps pulling, it never stops. The crazy thing is that this car would probably do it all day long. It feels effortless. You can give it more, but... Factory box. Factory box, yeah? Factory diff. Factory diffs. I can really see the potential of this car is so high. You're kind of babying it just to preserve the box, right? I have to. So... <laughs> This is freaking sick. This is how to build a GDR, man. I think in a 32, this can't be it. The, I feel like I've driven 33s, I've been in 34s, but 32 feels nimble. It feels agile. Yeah. It's a true sports car. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's scary how quickly this car goes. You look down and you're like, oh, sometimes it doesn't even feel like it's going that fast, right? The power, power delivery is it's beautiful. Yeah, this is, this is sick, man. I think I have to take a 32 over a 34, man. <laughs> she boogies. All right, guys, we've landed back in uh, Melbourne. Thank you so much for that. That was freaking sick. Let's have one last look of this killer R32 GDR, guys. Guys, this was a true showcase of one of the toughest R32 GDRs we have out here. Rocking a massive single, fully built motor, and of course, the OG five-speed manual transmission. Shout out to Ali. Thank you so much, man. That was sick, brother. All good, bro. Guys, be sure to check out Ali on Instagram for all of his crazy updates on the GTR. Many more things to come in the near future. So, guys, stay tuned. If you enjoyed the video and you like the car, hit the thumbs up button in the comments below. Tell us what you think of it. Consider subscribing, and we'll see you in the next one. Take care.